Hi, this is Darren Lyle again. Today we're going to work on the hands. I'm actually kind of excited about it. I haven't done a hand in a long time. I know, that's really geeking out, but it is kind of fun. Okay, so the first thing I'd like to do is bring in the picture or the image of the hand I have. Here we are. I'm going to add an image. And I've got one here, a hand drawing. And I'll open that up. And there it is. It's huge. <laughs> and as I said, it's just kind of a rough sketch to give me an idea as I model here. But one of the things I want to do is turn down the opacity to maybe 0.25. And I want to bring the size down. I don't need it to be that big. And I can move it and scale it until it's just almost kind of where it should be on the character. All right. That looks pretty good. So I'm going to begin with a cylinder. And I'm going to... That cylinder doesn't need 32 sides. I think I'm just going to change that to 8. Um, and I don't need um, caps. So I'm going to change the cap fill type to nothing. Um, and I think that's all I need for now. I'm going to bring that up and move it over to where the finger would be. So I think I'll begin with the middle finger here. Try and place that. And I'll go ahead and add some edge loops here. And maybe one for that middle knuckle and one for the end knuckle. Now let's go to edge mode and what I want to do is kind of fill this end by selecting these edges on the top and the bottom here and then hitting extrude and scaling these in together so they just almost meet here like that. Now I want to merge these together. So, select a couple points, Alt-M, and let's merge at center. Now in my drawings I've got the, the character wearing gloves, but I'm going to go ahead and model the hands as if you might see them without the gloves as well. So I'm going to do fingernails here. So I'm going to insert an edge loop where I think the cuticle might be and then go to face mode and select these two faces. Let's extrude and I'm going to scale that in just a little bit and I'm going to move these down just a hair. Push them down, maybe scale in a little more and then I'm going to extrude again pull it up and then scale back out a bit and you, and you might think well that looks odd and it does you're right but if we now come over here and let's add a subdivision surface modifier here um, over here in the modifiers area add modifier subdivision surface and I'll up the view to 2, optimal display, turn on the editing view, and also I'm going to press T and come over here to this smooth shading right here. Turn that on. So now what we've got is something that's beginning to look a little like a finger. Now I think, um, as I mentioned before, we oftentimes need um, more than one edge when we're going to have a joint bend. So for this, I think what I want to do, let me turn off the subdivision modifier for just a minute here. And I think I want to insert some edge loops here, although it, it may be kind of tight. 
Let me see if this will work. Yeah, see this may be a little bit too tight around the cuticle for three edges. Let's see how it works here. Now with those edges, I could take these here and maybe scale them up and scale this one up just a little. And I'm gonna move them up just slightly and take these edges here and pull them up just a little bit to hint at that crease under the knuckle. That may be too much. Just enough to hint at it. So now all we need to do is use this same finger for all of the others. Um, what I'd like to do is move the pivot point. So I'm going to select a point at the end here and move the cursor there. And then I think I want to go to the tools panel and set the origin to the 3D cursor. There we go. So now when I duplicate this and move it and rotate it and scale it, it rotates and scales from that point. And then let's duplicate and move over here. There we go. And one more for the pinky. And finally, one for the thumb. Now let's start thinking about how to connect these fingers together and extruding the hand back toward the wrist. Each one of these fingers currently is its own object, so we need to combine all of these. So I'm going to select all the fingers and then press Control J to combine them into one object. Now that they're all one object, we can begin linking them together. So I'm going to select this and this and hit Alt M and at, at center. So now I'm going to select this edge but I want to make sure I don't choose these edges in the middle here. I want to deselect these. Let me go to edge mode and deselect these because I don't want those coming back with me. All right, so now let's hit extrude and let's pull this back a bit. Okay, so let's select that edge again and let's extrude and move it back a bit and maybe even flatten it up a bit with the scale tool. And now let's go to our character modeling layout and see how we're doing here. Now let's start talking about an interesting issue that you're always going to come up against no matter how you do a hand, whether you extrude it out from the wrist or extrude it back from the fingers, you're always going to have an issue where you've got more edges on the hand than you have on the wrist. Maybe not always, but we do now, <laughs> and it's a good time to talk about it. One of the ways to deal with this is to begin to col collapse these edges or these points here as we move move back because currently we've got a lot of edges going on here um, and we need to collapse them down to only eight edges over here. So let's do that. Let's take this and this and merge at last and this and this and do and do the same. So we're um, re reducing the number of, e of edges we have here. Okay, so we've done that. That's great. 
let's um, extrude again. What let's do is let's combine the hand and the body here. Combine these two, control J. And now when we go into edit mode, we can take a look at what we have here. So these edges are pretty well lined up. So I'm gonna select this point and this point and merge at last. Same with this. So I've added an edge loop here just to see what I can do with this. I guess I should probably take a look at connecting this thumb up, huh? It's not going to work hanging out there, is it? If you recall, I, um, I'm, I made the fingers out of a cylinder with eight sides. So what we really need to do is find four faces, uh, four quads, and delete them and hook the thumb up to that. What I'm going to do is collapse a couple of these points. So I'm going to take these two points and press Alt-M to center to collapse those two points. So I'm moving the triangle up toward the finger. So now I'm going to take these two points and do the same thing and collapse them at center. I'm going to select these four faces and delete them. And then I'm going to connect um, these up. Let's look at working with edges here. I'm going to select this edge and this edge. We got to be able to bridge this. Let's test this. Why not? I've got segments one. Let's see this. I'm not too shabby. Let's try two. Hmm. That might be a little bit better. And I may not even need that edge right there. So I'm going to delete that. Use my edge slide to slide these back. And I think. That works a little bit better. There we go. All right. Well, I think um, what I'll do is continue pulling a few points here. But then I think I can begin to work on um, the mouth and the tongue here in the next video. So looking forward to seeing you there.